So I'm going to show you how to make a uh, helicopter sound using the most basic uh, components in a uh, analog synthesizer. We're going to use white noise, uh, some filter cutoff, and some modulation. And I'm using the ARP Odyssey uh, module to do this, but you could really do it with just about any uh, analog synthesizer. So I've got the VCA gain turned up, so we're not using a keyboard for uh, an input. We're not using the voltage controlled uh, amplifier with a, an, an envelope or with a trigger. This is just the straight audio output from the synthesizer. And I'm going to open up the filter about three quarters of the way and push up uh, the fader for the white noise. And you can hear as we move the uh, frequency cutoff up and down for the white noise. It's you know the, the classic sort of surf sound that you expect. What we're going to do is we're going to modulate the filter opening and closing, and that's the base for the helicopter sound. So if you can imagine, if you move this uh, filter control up and down real quick, kind of sort of sounds a little bit like a propeller blade swinging around. So the simplest way to do this is to use the low frequency oscillator and on the ARP to add in some low frequency oscillation under the voltage controlled filter modulators I'm going to push up this yellow slider which is assigned to the LFO and I'm going to open up the filter So that's the base of, if you just needed a real quick helicopter sound, that's all you need. Just opening and closing your filter and some modulation. The speed of the helicopter blade is controlled by the uh, speed of the uh, LFO. So let's see what happens when we change that. So that is enough to give you a good idea of what the uh, uh, the helicopter sound would be like. Now, since we're using the ARP Odyssey, we can do a few more things with this. For example, the ARP Odyssey uh, will allow the LFO to automatically re-trigger either the uh, AR, Attack Release Envelope Generator, or the ADSR. So rather than just having the LFO with a sine wave opening and closing the filter, we can have it re-trigger uh, either the a AR attack release generator or the ADSR. So I'm, I've got the uh, switch flipped down to the AR generator. And the reason I'm mentioning this is there's a lot more output from the attack release generator from the envelope section than there is from the LFO. So let's push up the fader for the uh, AR Now what's exciting about using the AR, the attack release generator, now these are the two controls for the attack and the release. Let's slow it down. What's exciting about using this is these, the attack control is essentially the first half of the LFO as it reaches the, the, the point of maximum amplitude and then the release is the release part of it so you can kind of customize exactly what sort of modulator you have and you have way more control you notice that when we were using the LFO uh, the yellow slider we had to have the filter frequency quite far up we can almost do everything we need just using only the uh, envelope modulator so let's see what we got here So we can see how by manipulating the attack and release times, it kind of changes the choppiness of the helicopter blades, whereas when we're just using the basic LFO, we've just got a sine wave and there's, there's no variation possible there. And, and we can combine them together, it doesn't have to be one or the other. Now, if 
you want to add a little extra heft, really give your, your uh, uh, helicopter a little bit more weight and make it a little bit more realistic, we can add in some of the voltage controlled oscillators. So uh, let's just listen to hear what that sounds like. So that's the sound of VCO1. I've got the uh, octave transpose down two octaves and the pitch sliders in the middle. And that's just basically VCO1. Here is VCO2. You can hear it's tuned up a little bit higher than VCO1 and we can mix the two together. And then I'm gonna move the fine tune control for VCO2. this will do is it'll give a little bit more weight to the sound of the helicopter and also by manipulating the filter cutoff and by moving some of these pitch controls and by adjusting the envelope we can really animate the sound so it's not just a, a static helicopter sound so let's see what we have but we're going to start off with um, with more of the white noise sort of like the helicopters in a distance and we don't quite hear the weight of the engine yet Now we can try and manipulate all these parameters together. We'll work with the uh, filter cutoff, moving different audio levels, and then tweaking our envelope a little bit. To, uh, build a analog uh, using the sounds in a basic analog synthesizer to uh, recreate a helicopter effect.